So with everything changing so fast, like what should you have in your gear bag in 2022 to get you know the best quality video that's necessary? I mean, you could say that just shooting with your phone is enough, but you know, us as video producers, videographers, filmmakers, we want to take it up, you know, a notch, but we don't want to be too overburdened. I'm going to go through my everyday carry in my backpack in 2022. Speaking of, we're doing a backpack video. Jeez, right? right? This is my friend Mike Lazarecki, Dave Simons. We've been planning to do like a collaboration video for a while now, and we're finally getting around to it. <laughs> it's only like three years in the making. Our two mics set up. Here we are, just a, another viewpoint. <laughs> it's pretty cool. I just feel like this is my most realized living room setup I've had yet. We just took a walk to the coffee shop, got some cool B-roll and photos there. <laughs> Definitely wired, plenty of caffeine. Here we go. We're talking about just different video topics we're gonna do, but what should we have in our bags in 2022 to be still run and gun, but also have that extra level of quality? Yeah, I mean, like my short answer is everything. <laughs> yeah, I know, so yeah, like, you pack you, heavy. Yeah, you, <laughs> you were saying that like, to not be too overburdened, I have this bad habit of like trying to, like my perfect camera bag would be one that could carry everything that I have. And then it of course makes it totally imperfect because it should be able to like Harry Potter it down to a size that can fit under the seat in an airplane. I like that Harry Potter it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 you know, like the tent in Harry Potter where yeah. they walk in and it's like a mansion, but it's the size of like a one person tent. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Oh man, Mary Poppins in it too, yeah. I guess. Yeah, yeah. Right. well, you want to start? Here is my open backpack. Ooh. And so I guess we're going to start with the thing that keeps it all together, the, the biggest individual item. In my, I'm gonna also, yeah. I'm filming this from this angle too. Sorry. Oh, I love it, yeah. So this is the Canon R6. I've had it since about October of 2021. It's been serving me well, it's super compact. Like I came from the Canon 1DX Mark II. So this has been amazing having the flippy screen, it does 10 bit for stills and video. It's been a powerhouse and I haven't needed to buy any gear lately. So I got the 16 to 35 millimeter EF Mark III on this bad boy and the, just the basic EF to RF adapter. This serves me well. Like I have this lens on this camera the vast majority of the time. I got a three stop ND filter right there. I haven't even needed to use like the, the variable ND. That takes care of me in the in most situations, being able to pump up the ISO on this thing. Um, say if it gets too dark with the ND filter or I just pop that off. So I've had this backpack from Case Logic for oh, like 11, 12 years now. And it's serving me well. It's not like the, the sleekest, coolest looking thing out there, but it does the job. This was 55 bucks, like one Black Friday. Stoked that it continues to hold up. I can attach this tripod to the outside, which is great. I do have a laptop pocket if I need it. We got the Rode VideoMic Pro, which I've had this guy for a long time. I have it on the plus 20. Uh, the preamps in this thing are actually better than the preamps inside most cameras. C70 not included. This is a beautiful, beautiful <laughs> machine there. Turning the plus 20 on this and then turning the internal gain on the R6 down works great. Is that the version one or the version two? I think this is the version one. Okay. Yeah, uh, I would love a Rode Video Mic Plus Pro or Pro Plus, whatever that is. <laughs> yeah, whatever they call it. <laughs> yeah. Pro Plus Ultra. The ridiculously <laughs> long naming conventions of all camera accessory companies. Yeah, I usually run around with my 70 to 200 um, IS. This has been great. I mean, I bought this used from, I believe it was Lens Rentals. They've served me quite well. I actually bought the Canon R6 as part of a rental at the I'm like, I'm not giving this back. I'm just gonna pay you guys for it. It was great. Like it was in awesome condition. I got the adapter, which they were running short on adapters. So they almost didn't want to sell me that adapter, but I think it was better than buying it brand new. Like sure. I sacrificed like a warranty. And Canon the, makes the <laughs> satisfaction of the unboxing. That is true. That is true. Hashtag uh, nobody needs an unboxing video on their YouTube channel, by the way. Nobody cares anymore. Like it's a box. <laughs> right. I did an unboxing for the 1DX Mark II when I got that in 2018. I had so much fun editing that thing because I was super amped to get that, mm -hmm. but it, it super fell on deaf ears. It has like 60 views to this day. Um, <laughs> but it was one of those that I just made for fun. I got my lens hood for the 16 to 35, but also it kind of houses my 50 millimeter 1.4. From Canon, I've had this for at least 11 years. I was using this with my 7D uh, to get good results in low light. And then we got the Tascam DR10L. 
this, I'm using this all the time in work and personally. It's just a powerhouse, like it sounds great. Just in such a small package, not having to attach it to a camera and you just, just records internally. It's amazing for weddings, anything you need. I've mic'd myself up on the one wheel with this thing. It's my jam, super flexible. I mean, that's pretty much it. I got my charger and my batteries in here and then like a notebook and a, a kind of a shot sheet sort of sort of planner thing, a storyboard workbook. Awesome. This is pretty cool. And, what uh, brand is that? Where did you get that? It was, I got it, uh, Film Riot recommended it. Oh, sweet. And okay. it's not by them, but they recommended this and I need to use this more often. Uh, but it is, it is cool. It has a bunch of templates that I should be using much more often. Maybe it's, a good link in the description for I should, purchasing yeah. one of those. I should definitely <laughs> paste that, yeah. Hint, hint, I want one. <laughs> yeah, oh, definitely. As an alternate, like I can even fit my DJI Mini 2 inside the backpack. I mean, this thing is so tiny. It's like, I'll usually have to shed a lens to make room for it, but I mean, there's still enough room in this little pocket section where the task cam is. So I'm able to stick it right there. Get this a is so running gun. We didn't think about an overhead angle. Yeah, Except I'm and I just tuck it in there. there. And then even this bulky controller, I can fit in there. And then I also have the ND filter set that I got with this, which is pretty compact as well. It's not super ideal. I may like unscrew these sticks. It can be pretty important. You don't want to have those bending. But uh, <laughs> so being able to fit all this cinematic potential in one little bag is pretty cool. This is what I was using for my Brazil videos and just being able to bust all these things out and make something I'm super proud of out of, out of this is, is pretty awesome. Those so, videos were sweet, by the way. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah. That is my 2022 camera bag, and it feels like uh, I've reached a state of equilibrium for it. There's always pieces of gear I desire, but I just feel like at a good place with what I've got right now. Well, dude, thank you for having me on. Dude, uh, yeah, absolutely. I really appreciate it. We got to do this more often. We will absolutely be doing more collaboration stuff for sure.